Hello everyone, Dungeon Frog here, and today we start a short series uh, about uh, my Grim Dawn builds. They are all on Hardcore Ultimate. Uh, they are all far from finished, but they all really work well and they are all uh, non-meta builds. And uh, I will showcase uh, my first build today, and this one is uh, actually my data build I used as the first character in Hardcore. And uh, yeah, it's a dot build, so you will run a lot around, and we got a not nice buff at the moment. Um, and yeah, you pretty much use your dot skill to hit everything and then just run around. In, in boss fights, you press your button and just run around. Um, we can use our mortar and uh, it does not do much damage but it's actually also not the goal uh, from it to do any damage but the goal is uh, to inflict uh, the resistance shred as resistance shred is probably the most important offensive set in a Grim Dawn and uh, you try to have uh, your, e um, your buff up all the time, it buffs your maximum life HP so that you are uh, nicely and tanky and uh, it also uses uh, as a heal. We got Q, um, this can proc uh, one of our uh, abilities. It also helps a bit with single target uh, and if overall if you stand inside it you get less damage. You can make three of them in the play place. So if this would be a hard enemy, you just would run in circles between uh, those three things and wait till the dot and the mortar kills everything. And with that, you can you are pretty safe um, and you can finish off the whole game just with running in circles. The spec has a decent uh, life regeneration. Uh, it's uh, Inquisitor and Demonalist. So uh, if we get low, uh, our shield does proc and save us. Um, we, of course, can uh, use our teleport ability to move a bit faster. Um, we have the horn, which we can use uh, occasionally to debuff the enemies. And, uh, of course, we have um, the flashlight. And this one is there to also debuff the enemy but also to slow them down so that running in circles is a bit easier. And yeah, that's uh, probably uh, a quick showcase how this, that uh, build works in combat. Uh, let's go back to the town and uh, look uh, about the skill tree and uh, our equipment. So let's start with the skill tree and you see um, of course we uh, get our word of pain as our main dot and uh, try to increase its damage but, and we do piercing damage um, as you can see in uh, screen. Uh, we of course uh, take it uh, upgrade which uh, increase um, some of their stats. Uh, this one is the main set as you can see. You can put maximum 10 points into a skill. We have 22 on it. This one does in, uh, decrease their piercing resist. So our piercing damage is higher and uh, you might know Word of Pain is not a piercing skill but we use it as a piercing skill and that is thanks to our uh, messenger's repeater and that's the only item you really need for this build. As uh, you can see uh, down on the bottom of it, it converts all elemental damage to piercing damage on Word of Pain. And it also gives another piercing resistance reduction to Word of Pain. So this one is the only item uh, you really need for this build. And uh, you can get it in uh, the snow, uh, in the Corvan Basin. Uh, expansion and it's uh, from one of the bosses here uh, in the remains of Corvin City 
and uh, yeah, he has a pretty high drop chance on it, and he's the only one who can drop this weapon, and you absolutely need to get it for uh, this kind of build. And uh, you can get it as early as, I think, level 24, so you can grab it really early in the game and start your journey from there on. So yeah, this is our main skill, and of course we use it a lot. And uh, then we, of course, get our e-buff, which heals us, gives us extra life, gives us extra movement speed, defensive ability, uh, some uh, nice reductions uh, against things. Um, we only took the hero one point for the extra resist. Um, yeah, we press it quite often. One point here, just for extra a lot of piercing damage with our skill level up. This one is pretty much up all the time, increases our damage and our offensive ability, otherwise it would be a bit low. Um, this aura does uh, increase our also piercing damage and offensive ability, also some resistance. Um, the Q buff decreases damage and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all we have in this tree. On a demo list we got our aura which uh, gives us some increased uh, pierce damage and defensive ability. So we are hard to hit, hard to crit. Um, of course, the blast shield, if we go ever low, we get a lot of defense power from it. We max out uh, flashbang, um, yeah, reduce their defensive ability so that even with our not so high uh, offensive power, we can hit them often. And uh, yeah, some CP big range, also uh, 10 meters. And yeah, uh, some increase here, some life region here if we get hit. You see, Mortar is just one point on everything. It's only there to apply our debuff. Let's check our devotion. And uh, that's uh, where Mortar shines. You see, we have Assassin's Mark here to shred more resistance. We have uh, on our uh, Q skill um, some extra damage. On one of our auras we get an increase on offensive and uh, defensive abilities. Also uh, energy regeneration, as you saw we l are losing some energy uh, while we are fighting. And uh, of course our Word of Pain got a really nice uh, damage proc. Uh, this procs uh, sent dunes kinda. And they uh, aim for the enemies and do a decent amount of damage, also debuff them. And we are on hardcore, so we uh, take the tower note, as uh, it has a lot of offensive potential. We have uh, cleansing waters on our flashbang. It has a huge... Uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty much up all the time and uh, we can also now use our uh, flashbang to cleanse enemies or heal ourselves. So it has two purposes and it also slows down the enemies. Uh, great combination of skills. And uh, other than that, we uh, get some nodes here. And uh, of course, uh, Wayward Soul. When we are hit, we get healed by a lot, get increased defense ability and armor. So if we get hit, uh, our defenses uh, will go up. And yeah, we also got uh, the Skite for health, energy and regeneration and some really good uh, offensive and defensive stats. We need to get a lot of defense, of course, because we are playing hardcore so that we uh, don't die. Um, we need some nodes uh, to get through all the things. And yeah, that was the devotion. And like I said, uh, gear-wise, only the weapon is really mandatory. The rest, as you can see, it, uh, if I'm showing you my gear, is uh, not really that useful. Like, yeah, we try to fix our resist, as you can see. Having high resist is, yeah, in pretty much every R RPG I play is uh, probably the most biggest priority. So uh, check out to get some life, get enough energy to use your skills and to fix all your resistances. And uh, you see, like, uh, on the, this armor, we don't have any piercing uh, damage, but it's still great, because uh, it fixes our resistances. Um, here also some resistance, some damage. This one is strong for us, gives us a lot of damage, extra one skill to our main slot. 
uh, damage skill, a lot of defense, also another powerful uh, defensive item, the mythical white lotus, you can craft it in your crafting bench and you see gift of the lotus chance when hit another heal if we get he uh, hit it so if we get hit we have a lot of options to regain this life pretty much instantly we also can of course use our potion and uh, we also got an oh shit button which uh, increase uh, decreases some damage we take and uh, yeah here uh, another yeah some uh, damage and uh, it's a slow to word of pain. So yeah, pretty decent and extra elemental damage which we do convert to physical damage. So huge damage, huge slow. Some nice defensive boots trying to uh, increase our physical resist which we have uh, not much of. So that is a stat we are missing and we would try to improve it with uh, better green items probably, like this one, you could uh, increase this one. Um, yeah, the gloves, nothing special again. And uh, the rings here, we convert some piercing damage to fire damage. I think this conversion does not matter that much because I think this conversion uh, is stronger, or at least not much does remain of the conversion. So, um, yeah, but it's definitely not an optimal one. So, uh, a lot of room uh, for improvements gear-wise. And, uh, yeah, this one is, also of course, really strong offensive-wise and one to all skills. And, yeah, that was pretty much all the build. Um, I finished the whole game with this build. Um, in hardcore, um, I prefer to put all my free points from attributes into physique just to get a big HP pool. So uh, yeah, it's not the most damaging uh, spell, but uh, with running in circles is really a great build to finish all, uh, yeah, all content and uh, get some gear for your other item builds. Uh, yeah, so that was my build. Um, and if you have questions, then ask them in uh, the comments. I'm glad to answer you. Leave a follow, leave a subscribe and uh, I will soon continue with my next build. So, see you. Goodbye.